if it's not for us, you don't eat. One industry united as one voice. That was the message from Tennessee cattlemen as they gathered in Lebanon for the Tennessee Cattlemen's Association winter meeting. Incoming TCA President Dustin Pearson of Washington County says meetings like this help unite producers. Tennessee Cattlemen's is put together by cattle producers throughout the state of Tennessee. Like I said, I'm from East Tennessee. We've got producers from West Tennessee and all the points in between. So it's a grassroots effort where we bring all those voices together you know, to where we'll be, we'll be able to go through the state level, you know, as legislative comes about or if there's issues raised in animal agriculture. And then also we go to, you know, in March, we'll go to Washington, D.C. with the National Cattlemen's and also take those voices from Tennessee to the national level. This is Pearson's first TCA meeting as president. He hopes to help the organization grow during his two-year term. With the 12 years I've served on the board so far, I mean, we've had great leadership uh, before me, you know, and, and to pick up off of those guys and what Tennessee Cattlemen's really means. The two-day event features various speakers covering topics related to the cattle industry. TCA Executive Vice President Charles Hoard says all the speakers are there to inform their members and help enhance the cattle industry. We've kind of had a, a lot of different speakers. We've run the gamut from some entertaining guys like uh, Jason Brown, the football player that, uh, that started a farm and um, you know, uh, to Temple Grandin and Dr. Rowan is here from the University of Tennessee and um, our state veterinarian Samantha Beatty, uh, you know, people that really dig down on, you know, what information producers need to know on their farm and then just some fun, feel-good information that uh, we want farmers to know about, you know, awareness of animal agriculture issues and, and stuff that's going on around the world. So it's it's some of both and uh, it's a good balance for us. We want our, our producers to know, you know, this is the issues that other people see, this is how we can, you know, do some good things and some positive things and this is how we can tell our story and we need to do both we need to you know uh, understand what people are looking at and ways we can improve and we need to be sure and share you know what we are doing that's good which is we, we've got a good story to share I think it's really important to um, talk to young people we need young people in our industry and I'm really super happy that a lot of young people are at this meeting that made me very happy and another thing I've talked about other than cattle handling was um, Grazing does a lot of good things for the environment, a lot of good things for the land. My husband and I are cattle producers ourselves, and so um, the cattle industry is near and dear to my heart. Just getting an opportunity to be able to look at the partnership between the industry, the producers, having extension research, everyone here from Farm Bureau. It's just great to be able to have so many folks that are rallying around an industry like the beef industry. We have a food infrastructure system that's being challenged. We know that we have inflation taking place, which is causing, look, eggs are $6.50 a dozen in the store today. And most of that has to do with policies. You need to be informed about what these challenges are and then work with an association and people that can bring everybody, bring all the cows together at the water tank to make a difference and keep the water flowing. The cattlemen in attendance say they take a lot from the speakers, an entire conference. I'm a cow-calf producer in uh, Franklin County. I have a commercial herd and I have a registered herd and uh, pick up a lot of tidbits on bits and pieces of information that what works for one person that may not work for others and you can just put all that together and pretty much come up with a pretty good denominator. But it's not all about adults. Youth are invited to participate in all the sessions and compete in the quiz bowl. All these children that are here, it's, it's their lifestyle. It's what they know and what they're raised on. And thanks to programs like the Tennessee Cattlemen's Association, the lifestyle will be upheld for generations to come. And that's, that's an exciting thing to think about. Preparing the next generation of beef producers while also helping unite cattle farmers now. We want to be able to tell our story, what we're doing to make producers better here in Tennessee, and not just Tennessee, but the Southeast collectively, you know, why our cattle, you know, perform when they get out west. And that's one good thing about our conventions. We have excellent speakers every every convention, and we've got to thank our sponsors for that. The truth of the matter is numbers matter, right? The uh, the elected officials want to know, you know, that, that, that their constituents are supporting them and they're voting for them, and when we can get a large group together, whether it's at you know, some of the Farm Bureau meetings or our meetings and they hear from, from folks that are voters and, and are passionate about their uh, issues in agriculture, yeah, it carries a big stick.